let's talk about inexpensive roll-up side operators. Now we already have a video showing how to assemble your roll-up sides and attach your greenhouse plastic to the roll bar itself. And I'll link to that video in the description. But in that video, the primary operator used for the roll-ups is a gearbox operator. And while gearbox operators are my favorite for roll-up sides, primarily because they have an internal brake mechanism, but gearboxes can also get a little expensive. But there are some decent economy roll-up side operators out there. And in this video, we're gonna show you one of those options, which is a universal joint handle, shown here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to attach the universal joint handle to your roll bar. And since these don't come with an internal brake system, we're gonna show you how you can create something that allows you to stop your roll up at various points along your side. As for material needed to complete what we're about to do, we'll need universal joint handles, square drive pan head screws, one quarter inch diameter polyester rope, easy snap hooks, or an eye bolt if you don't have an easy snap hook. We're also using a hex head bolt with a lock nut. I'll have links in the description to all the hardware used in this video. Real quick, the tools you'll need are a drill driver, you'll need a quarter inch drill bit and a number two square drive bit, you'll need a crescent wrench, a ratchet with a 7 16th inch deep well socket, a hammer, and scissors. So in one of our previous videos, we showed you how to install anti-billow rope. And the same technique we used in that video to fasten the easy snap hooks to the hip rail, we're gonna use to fasten the tie off for this roll up side operator. To do this, we're gonna start before the plastic has even been installed. About an inch and a half from the end wall, use one of the snap hooks as a guide, mark it if you need additional guidance, and use a quarter inch drill bit to drill right through the channel. If you're gonna be using an eye bolt instead of an easy snap hook, you'll use the same process pre-drill before the plastic is in place for the diameter of your eye bolt. And you won't do anything else with your handle tie off until you put the plastic on your structure. And again, we do have a video for this process and I'll link to it in the description. Once your plastic's in place, you can now do your handle tie off completely. Here I have a 10 to 12 foot long piece of rope. Where I've folded the rope, I've already put an easy snap hook on. And I've tapped the easy snap hook's open end so that the rope can't easily pop out of it. I've essentially crimped it with a hammer. Now I'm going to insert the easy snap hook into the double channel where I've pre-drilled a hole. You'll push in the bolt from the exterior, have someone on the interior hold the lock nut with a crescent wrench, tighten with a 7 16 inch deep well socket from the exterior. And this is what your handle tie off will look like at this point. Now we got this on and this is really just a rope that's open on both ends. So we're going to make a number of loop stops for this manual handle. I'm just going to make a standard double knot at its end to start. And here's a close-up of that double knot. And here I add a third knot for good measure. And this takes me about two-thirds of the way down. Let's trim a little excess first. We'll just take the scissors and cut it. The way we make additional stops, you literally just tie one loop to itself. Now you have a stop that's, you know, two-thirds of the way down. What if you want to roll it up higher? Make another loop. And you can do this a number of times. I find that a couple of loops, one, two, three stopping locations will be sufficient. And you'll see what I mean when I start rolling up this universal joint handle. Before we attach the handle to the roll bar, let's blow it up and take a look at its components. We have a simple handle, a standoff, and a universal joint. And it's worth mentioning that the simple handle portion of the universal joint handle can actually act as its own economy version of a roll-up side handle. And I'll actually have a link in the description for a simple handle as well. A simple handle on its own is more rudimentary and it had, its downside is it doesn't have a joint. But a roll bar 1 and 3 8 inch tube does slide over the end of it and you can use it as a super economy option. Since the simple handles don't have that joint, I'm still a big fan of the universal joint handle. Another thing that's really cool about these is the standoff. The default is one foot, but if you want a longer standoff using one and three eight inch tube, you can make the standoff one foot, two foot, three foot, or whatever you need. Now that that's out of the way, before you can attach this to your roll bar, you have to assemble it. Where the handle and joint slide into the standoff, you'll connect with two square drive self-tapping screws. Now we can actually attach the universal joint handle to the roll bar itself. We're going to use a drill driver, a square drive bit, and a couple of square drive tech screws. So now all we have to do is slide the slightly smaller diameter end of the universal joint into the open end of the roll bar and connect with two or three square drive self-tapping tech screws. 
Here's what one looks like when it's been connected. Take note that the universal joint handle is just a little bit off of the end bow. This will prevent the joint and those tech screws from clanging the end bow as it rolls up and down. Once you've positioned the roll bar where you like it, having the universal joint pass the end bow here, you can now assemble your roll up sides. And again, we won't show the full process for assembling these, we'll just do a little time lapse here. We have a full video that I'll have a link to in the description. And once the roll up sides are complete, you can take a pair of scissors and trim the excess plastic from the ground all the way up to the hip rail just past your universal joint. You want to make that universal joint so there's no plastic getting in its way and you definitely don't want it to wind up in that joint as you're rolling the side up and down. With your universal joint handle connected to the roll bar and the handle tie off connected to your hip rail, you can now roll your side up and use that tie off as intended. Here's an example of how that tie off works with the handle and you can see here this is at the second stop we created. On the other side here, let's say we want to lower that roll up side and have it remain somewhere in the middle between the hip rail and the baseboard. I'm just going to lower it a little bit and you can see I'm you know, kind of struggling to keep it from unraveling here and, and that's the benefit of a gearbox operated system because it has a you know, an internal brake. Uh, but without this having an internal brake here, you just got to kind of balance it and slowly work it into one of the tie off stops. And hopefully this video helps you if you're looking for an economy but functional roll up side operator. And if you do end up going this route or any roll up side route, your next step would be anti billow rope to keep this thing from moving around in the wind. And uh, I'll have a link to that video in the description as well. If you like watching season extension videos that can save you time and effort, consider subscribing to our channel. And if you're interested in any of the materials used while making this video, I'll have links in the description for where you can find them. Thanks for watching.